Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to it, the Pitch Side Podcast. Pitch Side! Pitch Side! Pitch Side! As usual, man, amazing lineup. Um, El Capitan, the Dominator, Domi Domi. How is it that you do today? When I get excited, I don't know why. Yeah? The real general is here. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, With so us today, we have the legendary. But you must start by saying number 10 yes. and then everything else. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The legendary number 10, uh -huh. the original general. Oh, sir, thank you. Roger thank you. Fetumba. Welcome to the Pitch Side Park. Well, it's always a pleasure for me to be part of uh, such uh, yeah. events, if you have to put it that way. 100%. Uh, Sandons is a family to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm and uh, always be available yeah ah, thank before you. we even get into our discussion today i want to find out from you what is your fondest memory of being at mamilori sundance Oof, a lot a lot of yes. memories yeah uh, remember coming to this country yes uh, coming from europe yeah and uh, i found a very well established team sundance yeah. was already a, a great team then yeah even though i was a quality player that i, I always say that I was also fortunate because yeah. I was surrounded with quality player Daniel Mudao, yeah. uh, who was my captain, yeah. Rafael Chuko, Alex Bappe, uh, uh, just to mention a few of them. Yeah. So, memories, a lot. <laughs> a lot, because uh, together we achieve a lot. Yeah. Uh, we won uh, the, 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 the Champions League three times in a row. We yeah. won many, many, many trophies. I can't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we achieve a lot as a team. Yes. Uh, even though as an individual, uh, I know who I was. Yeah. <laughs> I, knew, I, I knew who I was. Yeah, so and I, I, and I, I, I know uh, I you are a general. I, so. I know that. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, like I always say, football is a collective game. No matter how great you are, yes. you still need uh, the support of your teammates mm. uh, to achieve what uh, you guys want together. Yeah. And that's what we did. What attracted you to come from Europe to Mamilori Sundance? Remember that I walked into this country uh, when uh, the apartheid was just finishing, finishing. finishing yeah. and uh, Cameroon national team was invited yes. uh, for the Mandela Challenge. Yes. And uh, we played against Bafana Bafana. I believe I did a good, great, good, good game. Yeah. And Sandons uh, saw you there. Uh, chairman, uh, who was at the time Natasha, Natasha Tiglas, yes. with the late uh, legendary uh, Alex Okwane, they come yes. to me and they asked me if I wanted to come to South Africa. Yes. I say, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah. I don't have a problem coming back to Africa. I was in Belgium then. Yes. So that how it happened. Amazing. And uh, the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> coming back after yeah. uh, so many years, even, I mean, after you've retired and played, to see what the facilities look like now here at Mamilodi Sundowns, you guys Oof. were the foundation of all of this. Yeah, let's say, like I was saying to the skipper here, yeah. uh, Lonfo, uh, I just also might have to mention that I have a lot of admiration for him. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Roger. Because, Roger thank uh, you. <laughs> he's one of the players who, who are fit in that Sandals team. Yes, then. yes. <laughs> your, your team? I'm yeah, sure, I'm sure team. I was going to be on the bench. Uh, no, no, not on the bench. In that pitch. I, mean, I, I believe so long for. Because uh, oh, well. you did very well. You ah, thank you, Roger. Thank you, thank you, for, Roger. For, for, thank you. For the family, for the team, and all that. So. Uh, for me to be here today, yeah. I'm just taking this opportunity to to say congratulations. Ah, to thank you, much. Yeah. Thank uh, you so much, Roger. Thank and, you so much. Uh, you achieve a lot with the team. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, amazing. We're very happy to have you uh, back. And um, if we've never said thank you for all the hard work yeah, that this is the your, time. your group, this is the time where yeah. we really just want to say thank you. We really do appreciate it. Um, a lot of people probably watching um, the, the, the podcast uh, possibly only have slight memories. Um, they never got to see you play. Some of them were born in the year 2000, if not uh, <laughs> later yeah. than that. So I just thank you that. very much. I think I, I have very fond that. memories of um, F&B Stadium, 
going there as a kid to go watch you guys play yeah. um, always was amazing. I'll never forget there was a game against Orlando Pirates mm -hmm. where uh, at the time the talk of the town was yes. Benedicto Villagazi yeah. and you just dominated him the whole game. <laughs> it was what I was saying to uh, Tompo that if I ever were to play against him, yeah. I would put him right here on this thigh and he wouldn't be able to get past it. Me? And these I'd put you right here. Man. I want you <laughs> on this side, I want Sugar on this side <laughs> and I'll defend the ball, I'll protect the ball, you know, and that pass with the outside of the leg, I have like, so like, many. Like how Roger used to do. You, you oh. see what I mean? Yeah, there's only one Roger. No, sorry. listen, it That's... might not be a 9 out of 10 like Roger, okay. but I'm definitely sure I could give you a... Um, Two. Six out of 10. No, football is not only about size. Yeah. Football is also <laughs> about... It's, everything is about what you have here. The, <laughs> yeah. the, the intelligence, the yes. how you read things, the how you see what's happening um, around you. Yes. And uh, I don't believe you can... <laughs> You can play, you doubt play me. like uh, Tiani or Olonfo. Oh, yeah, uh, it's, it's not possible. At this point, possible. I need you guys to roll uh, clips of me there at indoor soccer. Yeah. And uh, you'll it. see how well and uh, talented I am at this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, this one, there's this one match. When I was a kid, yes. I used to watch you guys closely. Yeah. Simply because I'm, I come from the village where Alex Papella is from. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we used to watch him very closely. Mm. So there's this match that you played in, in Ellis Park. Uh, against against uh, Pirates, mm -hmm. where there was a free kick, you took it quickly. You gave it to Chukun Tukun. No, to Rafael Chukun. Oh, that Chukun moment, I still remember. Yeah. It was yesterday. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, that is one of the moments I remember too. I remember there was a free kick. I just look at Dunque. Yeah. Rafael Chukun. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he knew exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Uh, before they realized the ball was gone, I just put the <laughs> ball at you. <laughs> the ball was gone. <laughs> before they realized the ball was gone. <laughs> Though, we have a very great combination with Daniel Mudao. Yes. Like I always say, and I believe that we were somehow spiritually connected. Yes. Uh, because to do what I was doing with them, mm -hmm. I can find them anytime, anyhow, uh, and give them the ball, the ball I want. Yeah. Uh, because... Uh, I set my mind yeah. in that way. Yes. Yeah. To say, even before each and every game, I always say to myself, tomorrow I have to give two, three balls to Mambush and he have to score. Yeah. So tomorrow how I have to give Daniel, uh, Rafael Chuku three or five balls and they have to score. Yeah. So I prepare my mind into that. Yeah. So what happened in the in the game the next day just a manifestation of what <laughs> you thought about already oh, so amazing. it's true that it takes hard work it's true that it takes quality yeah uh, to achieve that like people always say to me that uh, technically you were a very good player i yeah. said to them yeah i know technically i was a good player yeah but i was even more tactically better, better yeah. than, mm -hmm. than because it's about Tactics. Uh, yeah. You just use what you have as a quality yeah. to achieve what you want tactically. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And how was the relationship amongst the the group? Because you you looked uh, uh, untouchable in the 97, 98 season where you <coughs> dominated South African football at times. Like I say, we need to give also, like today, uh, yeah. what is happening at Sundowns today. You always have to take into consideration that those who are on top. Yeah. You're talking about. President Motepe going down. Yeah, uh, they put a great foundation. They put uh, they they put a great vision in. Yeah. So those who were in charge of Sandals then yeah. did the same by bringing in quality players by sticking mm. uh, to that Sandals, Sandals logic, yes. DNA, that Sandals philosophy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what we see here today, what Sandals has, is about identity. Yeah. It's about knowing who you are. Okay. And uh, what is happening at Sandals today is the continuity. Of, of, of what he has been. And we have been trying to make sure that that philosophy become perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And don't do it happen. better. Yeah. Ah, do it better all the time. I see. So, I see. Um, uh, the, 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 the management always makes sure that they bring in people who understand mm -hmm. that logic. Yeah. Amazing. And uh, Pizzo come in, did well. Mm -hmm. uh, today we have uh, Rolani, yeah. uh, who are doing very well. Yeah. Uh, and I believe you're going to achieve a lot in football. He's still very young. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with the support of everyone, the supporter mm -hmm. and the management, you're going to be a very, very top coach in this country. Yeah, amazing. Future. Taking it back to your playing days, outside of the general, what other nicknames did you have? Oh, when I was young in Cameroon, they used to call me Computer. 
computer. Of course. Those days. Computer. <laughs> Those days. Uh, yeah. Uh, the computer was not, it was just new. Yes. In that part of the world. Yeah. yeah. And they give me that nickname in French. It was ordinator. Oh. Ordinator. Ordinator. Yeah. Ordinator. Uh, ordinator. Nice. Yeah. So, From today, call me ordinator. Ordinator. <laughs> <laughs> Who means in English computer? Yeah. yeah. So that was a nickname. I was given when I was at Union of Douala playing for Cameroon National Team. I heard a new one today which I had never heard. Sabufa. Oh, Mambosh. <laughs> Mambosh. You know, <laughs> uh, he's yeah. always teasing me yeah. with, that, uh, with that nonsense of his. <laughs> yeah, Sabufa, Mambush. because uh, yeah. I usually, when I was playing, I have a chewing gum. Yes. Oh, okay. So, in this part of my age, it's always bah bah. <laughs> <laughs> So it used to make you think properly with that chewing gum. I must say, we used used to think when you were a midfielder, Mm. we must chew a chewing gum. Because we saw you doing it. We thought in the midfield you must have that chewing gum so that you can think properly. (laughs) So I thought, I thought when no, you were No, 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 no. It had nothing to do with that. It's just that maybe by chewing chewing gum, it takes a little bit of pressure away. From from, from from my man and all that. Okay, because when we were young in the village, mm. we think uh, what I we see to our heroes yeah, yeah. when they do it. <laughs> yeah, we must also do, do it. Yeah, no. Yes. So I thought no, we, when you were can, chewing that chewing gum, properly, you can do whatever. Okay, with or without I the chewing gum. Without the chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> it's very a very computer. Well. This thing. You did that very well yeah, with, you, with distension. Uh, uh, you, coming back to it, it's time for. If you have to count, yeah, yeah, players who have contributed massively, like I always say. Uh, to Sundowns Football Club. Yeah. Uh, long for if I do my first 11, I would better be a coach. Ah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he's brought it up, right? So he started it. <laughs> he started the line. So you've got to give us your Sundowns 11. <laughs> you started it. You started it. <laughs> no. Who's your oh, goalkeeper? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm just trying to say, even though. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I know who I was. I know what I achieved. Yeah, uh, long for equally did that. Yeah, and uh, uh, like I say, it's a opportunity for me today to let him know that. Yes. Uh, yeah, thank you, man. Uh, thank you, even man. sitting yes. in that my comfortable chair. Yeah. Uh, I'm the one saying it to him. To him. That is I've achieved a lot for this team. Be- before we move on to Champions League qualifiers, I want to find out from you how important is self confidence as a player? So you speak of like you knew how good you were, you knew how tactically good you were. How important is that coming into, in fact, as a young footballer, say mm. I'm a 14 or 15 year old who's coming to ask you, how important is it for you to be so positive and so um, uh, convincing in your self convictions? Uh, it depends. Uh, I believe, always believe that it's about what you want in life. Yes. And when you want something, mm. you must always try to understand mm. what can make you grow. Yes. In what you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's for, in football, it's hard work. Yeah. It's hard work, discipline, hard work, discipline, and pray to your God. Yeah. The rest follow. Yeah. So. You must always also know who you are Yes. as a player. I knew that uh, in terms of technique, I was gifted. Yes. Uh, and I've learned uh, throughout uh, playing a lot of games, mm. gaining a lot of experience, uh, I've managed to accumulate a lot of tactical knowledge. Mm. Yeah. So that's what we call in football intelligence, football yes. intelligence and all that. Mm. Uh, it's about discipline. Hundred uh, percent. It's about discipline. It's about hard work. Uh, there's no such thing as going to multi man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the multi, the multi is, the multi is training. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the what I know. The multi yeah. is training. Uh, I always believe that there's God somewhere there yeah. uh, who is watching over us, mm-hmm. and you pray to your God, mm. and uh, the rest will follow. The rest will follow. Amazing. Heading into Champions League qualifiers now, we're <coughs> heading all the way out to Burundi. Um, last season, we made it very far into the Champions League, and we're starting a new campaign. It's a new league. It's a new mindset. How do you think the team should approach it this season to make sure we don't make the same mistakes we did last season? Yeah, it was just unfortunate that last season we couldn't reach the final yeah. and win the Champions League. Mm. Like I always say, I strongly believe that we have a team 
yeah. Uh, yeah. who can go out there and win the Champions League. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in football, such things happen. Yeah. We just need to learn from it, yes. from our mistakes. Yeah. I believe there were mistakes, yeah. but you just need to learn from it and move on. I believe the technical team have learned from uh, the past yeah. and they are getting ready, mm -hmm. going to this uh, new chapter. Yeah. Uh, we don't adopt. Yeah. Uh, we have equality 100%. in this team. We don't adopt. Uh, Sandons is the, one of the best in Africa. 100%. So that is the reason uh, yeah. uh, the team always Dominic. have that uh, mindset to say, mm. uh, let's go out there and win the Champions League. Because we know already who we are. Mm. Yeah. We know that we have a quality. Yeah. We know that we have what it takes yes. uh, to win the Champions League. 100%. Captain, traveling into Africa, you've always spoken about how difficult it was back in the day. Things mm -hmm. have become a lot easier, but also uh, we're playing Champions League qualifiers and we also come back to some big PSL fixtures. Yeah. What is the mindset? What are we doing? How are we preparing? Well, I think uh, you, you, you need to try to be together as a team and, yes. and, and maybe paint one picture that you guys will, will love. Yes. Uh, and going to the Champions League, I think... The, the majority of these guys they've been traveling in the in the past season yes. and um, we're talking about international players mm. luckily for them um, yeah, they, they did that uh, last season and they went all the way to, to the semi-final yes. so it's, it's gonna take them uh, the same mentality that they had yeah. uh, to, to this uh, coming uh, 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 episode yeah, of, yeah. of matches that are still coming mm. and I, I've got no doubt as Roger said they, these are the, 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 the generation the quality players that mm. are together in one in one in one crowd mm. so you'll try to win football matches but at the same time it requires a, a lot of uh, discipline in how yeah. you approach these matches 100%. so you know uh, uh, then there's a league match there's a champions league match there's mm. a cup match so all in all those uh, you need to be adapt adaptation has to be a little bit a little bit uh, um, uh, sound yes so i think players now they, they they're much aware of what they they are doing and and, and of course they, they, there's a lot of information that has been gathered by the 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 the, the, the spies team, as, the spies. as, as, the, as the, <laughs> <laughs> so that information is important for players 100%. but at the same time players need to be in the same mindset you know uh, throughout the Hang consistency on. of performance has to be the same yeah. and as well as uh, you know the brotherhood yes. the brotherhood helps because when you are in these um, uh, countries so when you're waiting for 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 to, to, for the next flight, flight you need to have this kind of brotherhood to, you know, so that you mustn't be lonely. You mustn't think about, you know, what's, when is the next match. Because Camaraderie. Is that a word? Camaraderie. Camaraderie is the yeah, is a bit, Camaraderie. Oh, wow. So you Google it when you're away. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. So I think yeah. that helps because even uh, in my in my time here, uh, that's why I asked Roger about the relationship in, in the team. Yeah. In my time here, we had uh, you know a lot of games that we used to play together. Yes. You know to push time to have that uh, relationship in a deeper level. Yes. Uh, the past that Roger asked him about. Yes. I'm sure that didn't just happen in a match. Yes. I'm sure there's a lot of you know communication that's before. Really and then a training yeah. session so you, you you tend to know this person not lo uh, longer as a as a teammate 100%. but as a as a brother and somebody you 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 relate to yeah. so many things uh, so you can even read his mind before, before he, he even yeah that what I, that what i call a spiritual connection ah. okay <laughs> so you <laughs> connected in that team. Yes. Yes. So, but by spending more time you connected mm. uh, yeah. spiritual yeah. like mm. that so i think uh, it's gonna be very very interesting to see how um the boys is gonna they're gonna adapt to this uh, hectic schedule that is coming yes. because there's a lot of tournament there's a lot of football matches that are still coming yeah. speaking of style of play we've never played this team for burundi it's going to be the first time we ever meet them yeah do we go there and play conservatively or do we go there and play the sundowns way <laughs> sundowns is always there to to dominate football matches yes. because um you you've got quality players so quality players they've got that ego Yes, to say we are good, we can play. Mm. So yeah. I don't think uh, that they will go there, you know, doubting themselves because yeah. they've done it before. Yeah. So it's just a matter of, you know, of course they will give the respect where it, 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 they, they need to. Yes. But at the same time, they mustn't. I'm sure they won't even uh, shy away to express themselves mm. in the way they used to. Mm. Uh, but uh, it's it's a championship uh, a tricky one because when you're in that space, uh, you tend to find people who are not even scared of you. Mm -hmm. 
uh, they know who you are, of course, yeah. but uh, they, they believe they are bigger teams from 100%. wherever they come from. Yes. So it's, it, it, it tends to be a, dip, a difficult one, and but at the same time, it, 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 it will be taken by the quality, who, yes. who wants it more and who has the level of, of adaptation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Roger, it's, it's, a very, it's a quality team. Three years ago, they won the league. Um, they came last season, they came second in the league. So it's not uh, anybody we should take lightly because they are in the top three of the best teams in Burundi. There's no football match you have to take lightly. There's yeah. no team in football you have to take lightly. Yeah. So the reality of this is that uh, we need to know who we are. Yes. It's about our identity. Mm. Uh, Sandals will never change their way of playing, even though they take into consideration the quality of the opponent. Yes. Uh, it's knowing who you are first. Yes. That is football in life. Yeah. I know who I am. I know I'm Roger Futumba. I know I'm better in one, two, three. Yeah. I will make sure that I use that one, two, three to come on top. Yeah. And that's what Sandons is doing. Mm -hmm. They know they are good in what they are doing. Yeah. They know the way they are playing football today is the way football should be to play. Yeah. It's the best way to play football and win consistently. Yes. And be consistent yes. in what they are. And they are consistent. 100%. So they are, the, the team have to just, just carry what they are doing into that mm. level. They have been doing that throughout many years. Yes. And they have been working, even though last season we couldn't yeah. uh, win the Champions League yeah. uh, because of one of two mistakes. Mistake. And we have learned from those mistakes. Yeah. Going to that match in, against Burundi in Tanzania, yes, against the Burundi team in Tanzania, yeah. uh, I strongly believe that we have to stick uh, to our philosophy. Yeah. And we have, uh, it's about identity, it's about knowing who you are. Yes. And some don't know exactly who they are. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't believe that uh, they will change. We have to change the way we are doing things today. No. Yes. Uh, even though we, you take into consideration the quality of your opponent, yeah. uh, you still have to stick to your logic, mm -hmm. to your philosophy. Mm -hmm. And the way we play football today, yeah. and that is the way the football should be played. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you have proven that uh, is the way to play football because we are consistent 100%. in that and we are winning. Yeah. So we just have to make sure that uh, we keep focus yeah. all the time. Uh, and I believe that with the quality of the players we have, we well. the technical team and the support of the whole management, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. we'll reach that final. This, this we're, we're playing a Burundian team in Tanzania, which means to a certain level, they lose home ground. Yeah, they lose their support at they home. They lose their yeah. support at home. How important or what role would that play in um, the game and, and moving forward because I know that on the African continent we definitely do have fans as Sundowns and I'm hoping they show up in Tanzania. Yeah, well, the Tanzanians, they, they love their game. Yeah. Uh, I, I was fortunate enough to go watch uh, one of the, their derbies there in, uh, in Zimba and Yanga. Yes. Oh, the town keep quiet. Whew. The town, you know, everybody who has to sell, who has to go to work, they close the, they close the shops. shops. They go to the stadium and watch Amazing. that match. So there, there I just know if, uh, of course, they come to the stadium, it's going to be exciting yes. for, uh, for, for, for that match. And mm. the, the players, of course, they will tell you um, there's nothing that uh, will, will boost their morale and their spirit to go play in the in a in a, in a packed stadium because mm. there you 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 have to express yourself in in the in the way you know how yeah. but at the same time it gives you that uh, extra you know motivation Push, yeah. to go even more but uh, i think uh, uh, the, the, the team has been to to tanzania before yes uh, they, they they now understand this uh, Champions League uh, mentality, mentality and change, and, yeah. yeah. So I think they will work hard on 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 making sure that they they, 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 they suppresses the pressure, mm. but at the same time they know they have to do the business. As Roger said, the identity of the team, you carry it everywhere you go. Unfortunately, yeah. that, that's who you are. That, that's <laughs> yeah. who you are. That's so who you are. Can't change who you are. No, you no. can't. Unfortunately, yeah. and, and, and and the best thing about it yeah. is that. That who you are make you win the games. Yeah, true. So there's no need to change who uh, you are when you go to when you are winning. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, I strongly believe that uh, we come out of that game with a good result. Yeah. Uh, considering the mindset of the player, even today uh, in the league we are doing very well. We never lost a yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah. We are yeah. winning. So they will carry out uh, this attitude uh, to Tanzania. Um, General Tanzania is warm. The weather is warm, much warmer than 
here uh, in it, Johannesburg. I, I, I don't know if you are using it's, it's uh, hot. an English term. That's say hot. <laughs> there's hot, there's... The advantage, <laughs> the advantage you have in South, the advantage you have in South Africa is that you have all those seasons, eh? Yeah. Yes. Hot, cold, oh, yeah. and all that. And most of these players have been exposed yes, to, to that type of condition. Yeah. So I don't believe that it can be effect, a, a problem for them. I say this because I remember um, last last season Champions League, we mm. had people complaining that we want them to play at 3 p.m. when it's so hot. And I'm just like... You're talking about uh, <laughs> yes. our brother from the mic <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> They always complain. About right? everything. And they always uh, trying to use some tricks yeah. Yeah. to make sure that they desabilize. Mm. The opening and come on top. Yeah, uh, that how they, that who, who they are. So yeah, yeah. they will so never they have been, change. Been doing so I, DNA. Believe, <laughs> I believe that uh, we have learned yeah. from those type of things yes. because even if I have to come back yeah. to what happened uh, in the Champions League, I was in the stadium invited by the chairman mm -hmm. yeah. to come and watch the game, and I watched that game. We were on top, mm. but there was that thing. Yeah. That dirty thing. Yeah. yeah. And those guys, they use it. Yeah. They are three twice so, like that. Oh, yeah. End of the day, <laughs> it doesn't matter who? how good you play mm -mm. or what bougie football you play. Yes. You need to find a way around that mm -hmm. to come out with a positive result. Yes. Because yes. end of the day is about who have won the game. Yeah. And how so, you won it. So that's why I say, uh, I believe you are learned. Yes. You have learned from, you have a quality technical team. Eh? Yes. Mm. So they can pick up. Some those type those of things yeah, very yeah. quickly. Yeah, Captain, uh, having <laughs> won the Champions League, how important is it to be streetwise? It's very, very important. Yeah. <coughs> they, 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 we learned the hard way. Yes. Uh, uh, my team learned the hard way when we went to um, a country called Dolizi mm. uh, in, 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 to in Congo. Mm. You know, they told us that the, from the airport to where we'll be staying, mm. it's just a three hour drive. And we calculated that in our mathematics. Yes. And we were like, okay, three hours will be here. And then, and then guess what happened? Yeah. We had to drive 18 hours to the hotel. We got there midnight. We found out the hotel is not yet prepared. They still have to clean the rooms. Wow. Then we're waiting. There's no food. We didn't eat the whole day. Oh, we ate peanuts and, 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 and my Fanta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but when we got there, and then you realize that uh, these people, they do this deliberately. Yes. Just yeah, to check to where you room. are in terms of your preparation. Mm. But uh, uh, after that, we were never the same because we, we realized that uh, for you to win football matches, mm. it comes from within. Yes. And you have to control how you feel about the football matches. Mm. So we, we were there. Uh, at the same time, we knew we can easily complain and say, Guys, what is this? Yes. And then you lose the match and what happened? 100%. Nobody cares where, and it wouldn't even make sense to sell you knives. Do you know that I waited for uh, 18, 18 hours? hours. You'll never understand yeah, that. Yeah. You only care about what's going to happen in the 90 minutes. Yes. So as players, you, you learn the hard way. And these are the things that you take, as Roger is saying, yes. the, in that football match. Yeah. If you're a football person, you would yeah. easily tell that, there was just a lot of uh, foul, foul play, play, play happening. Yeah. A free kick is play is is here. Those guys they know how to move it at least four yards to favor them. Yes, you know what I mean. Mm. So you need to play with those. And I mean we're not saying cheat. Yes, but we're just saying there's moments where you should make sure that you are streetwise like that. Yeah. A quick free kick mm. you can easily tell that's not cheating. Yes, but that's making sure that the opponent are reacting to what, what you, you are do doing. Uh, without changing the DNA, as he was saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking this DNA <laughs> I don't know why I will use it in that yeah. English word, but my DNA is the, the word of the day. Amazing. So, um, Coach Rulani spoke about something which I think is uh, very important when you look at it on the back end, is that in order for us, for example, let's say we're playing a game in, in Egypt and we can't find a direct flight, it takes us eight hours to Dubai and another four hours to get to, uh, let's say, Cairo or wherever we're playing. Time spent traveling, how does that affect the players and their mentality going into games? Uh, it's always affect the player because if you have to travel uh, for two days yes. to go and play, maybe you don't have a time to recover mm. and rest, maybe playing when you arrive there the next day, it becomes very difficult. Mm. So, but also, uh, Facing some challenges when you go up help you deal with your type of issue. And it helps you to have that uh, Personally, 
uh, I faced a lot of challenges when I was young in terms of football. Yeah. Even with the national team, yeah. we used to travel, remain in the in the airport for seven hours, yeah. even sleep at the airport. Yeah. They would put the coach who sleep there. We used to travel going to Uganda with the national team, yeah. sleeping at Antebe Airport. We were scattered everywhere with bullet proof. Yeah. bullet impact mm. on the wall yeah. with not even a bet. Yeah. So those type of things build your yeah. character as, as a, a soccer player. player. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have to go, Cameroon, we used to do that. Huh? You travel with military plane, yes. going to Uganda, mm. arrive there the, the, the day before the game, yeah. the next day we have to play and we still manage to win and come back. Yeah. Yeah. So because we are used to that type of condition, yeah. and it built our character to, uh, to, 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 to face those challenges mm. and try to deal with it. Yes. So if that happened, I believe today we have players yeah. who have been in that condition. Mm. They will try and deal with it as a man. Mm -hmm. uh, Longfo was just saying it, many teams in Africa, they use all those type of tricks yeah. to try to come on top. They will delay. Uh, the pick up at the airport, yeah. they will make sure that it disturbs your man. Mm. You always have to keep focus. Yes. Yeah. What is the focus? The focus is to come when there and the win your game mm -hmm. and go back home. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Stuff. That is the reality in Africa. Yeah. Right? You never run away from that. Mm. Even though uh, we're trying to fight for the improvement, yes. uh, there's still those type of Thing happening. Holding us mm. well. well, we and they help, to, yeah. they help you to have yeah. that uh, a yeah. thick skin. It's, yes. it's, it's, in, in football. It's not, it's not right, uh -uh. but we but have to have it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. Football on the African continent is something very special. It's um, very special it's because very special. Uh, the, the, the things that we're going through as players, yes. only we can understand yeah. that. Yeah, and when I talk about Ndebe Airport, he can easily start by laughing yeah. because it brings them the memories, memories that he has been there, you know. Amazing. And for me, I'll be like, ah, you know Ndebe, I'll be, my friend uh, Denis Onyango is from Uganda. Yes. So he must tell me about this uh, Ndebe. Yes. Yeah. All right. Amazing stuff. Um, we want to thank you very much for coming on to the show. Um, and uh, once again, you are part of the family. Yeah. And uh, here's the new kit for the season so you can match with me and Trompo. The next time you come here, next yeah. game you go to, we'll be matching all together. No, I was saying, I was, I was saying to Zanile, yes. uh, Sam knows his family to me. Yes. Uh, I will never say uh, no. Yes. <laughs> but I don't, never... you think, don't you think uh, we need to put number 10 here? Yeah. Because this, this shirt must be, you know, complete. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's because okay. when I see you, I, 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 I see number 10. I don't huh? know. I see you, I see <laughs> but it's like that. It is yeah, like in, in, yeah. that in football. 100%. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pitchside Podcast, thank you very much. Please continue to like and subscribe to the page. <laughs> Champions League qualifiers, here we come.